Agent for Service agents can be integrated into your native mobile apps using the in-app messaging SDK. What you see here is a mobile app running in an iOS simulator. And as you can see, there is a button to launch the Agent for Service agent. So I click on this button and now you can see the Agent for Service agent. So now I'm going to use the microphone here and ask queries to the agent. Can you tell me more about mountain climbing challenge? And you can see the agent thinks and responds. And we can type in the details as well. Like for example, in this case, it's the email and the membership number. Okay, so how did I build this? So first I used Agent Builder to build and test the agent. You can find more information about how to use Agent Builder in our Trailhead module and sample apps. Next, I configure the Omni channel settings to route request to the service agent. Next, I configure the messaging settings. So to configure messaging settings, all you need to do is create a new channel here. So you click on add a messaging channel and make sure you select messaging for in-app and provide the channel name and the developer name. Here we are using this channel called agent channel for our messaging channel. Next, we need to provide embedded service deployments. So you go ahead and click on this embedded service deployment, click on the new deployment, select messaging for in-app and make sure to select the mobile client. In the interest of time, I already have embedded service deployments configured here. You can see here that there is this mobile configuration and make sure that you click on that get code file and copy the configuration to a clipboard and we'll later need this for our mobile app. Our next step is to clone the SDK from the GitHub. So here I'm in the GitHub and you can find our SDK messaging in app for iOS. And here, all you need to do is there are some example applications that we provide, which provides bare bone functionality and helps you understand how to use the SDK. Once you clone the SDK, open it in your ID. In this case, it's Xcode and provide the configuration file in the config file JSON. And then you can customize the application to add your own branding, colors, and functionality as you want for the app using the SDK. To learn more, check out the developer guide to get started with messaging for in-app SDK. Here, you'll find more information on how to work with messaging for in-app SDK for iOS and Android. Thanks for watching.